Hey everybody, today we are back at Delphium. Um, <laughs> a, a, a Terra Apex. A Terra made by Apex. An Apex Terra. A Terra something freaking or other. I don't know. It's a Terra Rubble! Reveal. Get your words right. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. Hey everybody, today we're back at Florida Outdoors in Stewart, Florida, and we are inside an Apex Terra. This is the 16 Terra. Now, I don't know if you can hear the cars whooping by. We are literally right on the main road here, so we're just gonna do a brief overview of the outside. The Terra, the 16 Terra, comes with this thing called the bike wing. It's already attached to the front, which is really sweet. So if you wanna do some uh, some biking, you, you have the rack already there to put the bikes on, okay? A little bit of front storage. It does have an electric awning, um, which is brilliant. Uh, it has off-roading tires. Uh, there's a spare tire mounted to the back bumper. Uh, there's also uh, this cool back door, um, and that you we'll, we'll show you a little bit more here in a second from the inside. Um, and then on the far side uh, is all your connections, your sewer and your water. There is no slide, all right. And so uh, let's uh, let's get on to the inside. So I'm sitting at the dinette. This could, uh, well, I would say you would seat four. Um, shorter people would have to sit in the inside because, you know, you, you get kind of sloped, and so you can't really get all the way in. Um, so shorter people to the inside, us, us tall people to the outside, I guess, all right? This does convert into a bed, which is nice, okay? Now, right across from this over here on this side is where your refrigerator is. It's a Dometic. This is your standard type RV refrigerator. It works on propane or electric if you're plugged in. Now above the dinette um, is some storage. Um, it's got a netting up here, which is nice, so everything doesn't bounce out when you're going down the road. Um, the blinds, uh, they're your uh, standard uh, accordion type blinds. Now we're gonna sort of change positions here. Lisa's sort of standing in the kitchen. Hello. <laughs> All right, so what do we got in this kitchen? Stove. Um, this is kind of unique. It's got the little wings in there. Oh, yeah. And I, don't, I, I don't know why, but there it is. <laughs> <laughs> this one has a round sink. Yeah. Um, underneath the stove back up here a little bit, you have your microwave. Oh, nice. Yeah. You don't often see the little microwaves in the tiny, tiny trailers. No, you don't. And you do have some decent storage underneath. Right. You've got some drawers over here. And then overhead, you have some really nice storage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, back over this way, um, this is the door you were talking about. Yeah, that back time. cargo door. Yeah. It's so neat because you can like load a lot of stuff up in here just from the outside, right? So you don't have to be trying to cart it through the door and push it through here. You just open that back door and push it in. Exactly. The, the area Lisa's standing in, well, that's, that's actually the bedroom here. Why don't you come on out here and I'll I'll go ahead and do that for All everybody. Right. There you go. And so, yeah, if, if you're traveling or you need more space, we talk about bikes, you could actually roll bikes in here. But the bed is just, it's just hanging here. So we just pull that pin out. Oh, I got both pins in. Pull the pins out. This just lays down, right? And the bed just folds out. And there you go, you, you've got yourself a bed. And what I like about this is, we've talked about this before in tiny trailers. Um, there's so little space, you have to learn how to manipulate it to, to have more space, right? We've been in ones where the sofa sectional turns into a bed. We've been into ones where uh, the sofa in the bed, it's kind of a Murphy bed situation. So during the day, the bed goes away, so you have more usable space. Um, and that's what they've kind of done in here, which is kind of neat. Now, to the left and the right of the bed, or, or above, if you will, again, there's some more storage with the netting. So if you want to put some clothes up there and, and, and things like that, right, on both sides, which is kind of cool. I will tell you one thing for the tall people out there. <laughs> You're gonna have to duck <laughs> going by the air conditioning unit, okay? Uh, I, and I'm not even standing up straight. If I was standing up straight, you'd see, you know, it, it's, it's a little short in here, okay? 
So let's check out this in here. What do we got behind here? Uh oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! This is a plastic uh, foot flush toilet. Um, and as you can see, um, my right leg is very comfortable. My left leg is kind of bent under a little bit just because of the shape of the shower that's in here, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I, I got to tell you, for, for what I would expect this trailer to be used for, this would be acceptable. I, I don't personally see this as, as a full-time trailer. For your weekends or even a week, I mean, you're in here. There, there's, there's room front and back, there's left and right, the door will close. And so, honestly, I would end up giving this one. Even though I gave the toilet a thumbs up, I will say the shower, it's gonna present some more challenges, okay? Um, uh, this, <laughs> this is not good. I mean, <laughs> yeah, this is challenging. Um, and plus, plus, I mean, you can see my arm, right? I'm, I'm barely in here, and my arm's on the far side. Did, did, yeah. Now, before we leave the bathroom, there's a couple other things that are in here. Um, here is your tank monitoring system, meaning if, if you want to see if your tanks are full, the monitoring system is in here. And so some of your controls for the RV are in the bathroom. So guys, let us know what you think about this 16 Terra from a uh, Apex. This is our first time uh, in, in this model. And I mean, it's cute that they, they do use the space well, but if you're a tall guy like me, this one is gonna present a few challenges, all right? Uh, if you're new to the channel, you all know what to do, all right? Uh, if you're coming back, if you've been here before, thank you so much for returning. We do love all of you guys. Thank you for being part of the community. Until we see you all again, be safe.